Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Noah's Tale. And last episode, you may recall Noah did a fantastic job at clearing out this mansion with a little bit of help from R Rory Epstein, who is now heading over towards this town here, which we, we don't know the name of. So this is Avon Heights on this side of the river. Um, I'm kind of, well, I'm, I'm sticking with that being Avon Heights. Um... I think the river's a good, it's a good marker of where the town ends and begins. Um, I see there's still a little bit of an NPC party happening on down here near the, um, yeah, near the Jabberwock. Yeah, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Uh, we are going to do some more exploration today. We are going to be heading back down towards our little farm, but um, we're going to be heading up here to the, towards this mansion, but we're going to have to drive just through this little clearing and that's going to allow us to see what's kind of going on over there. I'm interested to see what's happening terrain wise. It seems like this road follows down and there's another part of the river on this side so there must be a point where there's another crossing. I'd be interested to go down there as well eventually but I think that's probably going to be the episode after next if we can if we can clear this mansion okay. So we're going to be diving back on into it and leaving this place behind. We're going to jump back in our trusty tractor. Hmm, there we go. Where was, uh, where was the, where's, where's a window that we can go through? I know there's one down here somewhere. There we go, nice. And it's actually clear outside. It's not raining. Nice. Now we can just kind of enjoy the sun for a second. It's 4.20 though. <laughs> exactly, on the dot. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's get going. We're going to be heading back. We can actually see a lot better as well. So I think because of clear weather, we can actually see a little bit further, which is a nice touch. I like that. Oh, we're a little bit of lag there for a second. I was concerned. I thought we could be dealing with a crash, but we're not. So that's good. All right, let's um, let's wield let's hit wield T. So we're just going to let go of our board. So we'll put it back in our pack for now. Our temperature is falling, which is good. We don't want to be warm. Uh, we want to just be comfortable because you can see we're actually we're getting hot. So it means that we're getting a minus to our mood. We're still wearing our, our earphones, uh, listening to some music. So we can see that our mood is actually pretty good. Pretty good. So let's roar the engine into starting up and try our very best not to uh, not to hit anything. Uh, we're vrooming and we've hit something. Great. Good start. <laughs> Great start. We, we ran over a bush, um, which I didn't want to do in the tractor because I don't know its capabilities. Oh, that's a wolf. Go. And we killed it. So um, let's stop and butcher it, eh? <laughs> Why not? Why not? We're here. Let's butcher the thing. Let's uh, grab some meat. Uh, I'm gonna leave the stomach behind. The sinew you can use like thread, but uh, we don't really need to worry about it. Let's just chuck the... where is it? Raw meat. Chunks of meat, that's what I was looking for. Start the tractor up again. An old farmer Noah is gonna get back on the road. We've got a zombie to the south. A fat zombie was nearby as well. We're just going to keep on rolling. I wonder... Mm, damn it. Oh, are you shitting me? Did that just destroy one of our wheels? Because that's what it looked like when we destroyed one of our wheels in the other vehicle. I think, I think this has got treads. Like, I think it's... Yeah, rubber tread. Rubber tread, rubber tread. So there's quite a few of them, you can see. I think we just damaged something at the front. It's hard to see what. But uh, something decided to break there. Because of a freaking zombie. So yeah, we, we, we need to be avoiding them. I should have done more to try and get that out of my way. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're coming through the forest. They, they heard those gunshots yesterday. So hopefully I can lure a few of them away from our farm. Well, I say yesterday, but... It was actually this morning for Noah. Cash card there. I'm sure it's not very much. Ooh, Feral Runner. Okay, we'll just make our way around here. At least the, um, the good thing with this vehicle is that it's, uh, it's pretty slim. So we should be able to drive it without a lot of trouble through a lot of these hedges. Hmm. 
I say that, but... Oh yeah, there, there will be an opening. we are just got to keep driving until we're through the... F into the actual field section of the map. I think we are now, and that's a... Quite possibly very angry moose. He seems to actually be ignoring us right now, which is nice. It's a nice change. Uh, the moose is fleeing. Huh. Okay, so either he hasn't been attacked by someone yet, or... Or he's afraid of tractors, which is um, probably what a moose would be. Hmm, I didn't think that those smaller bushes could hurt us, but apparently they can. So we're trying to avoid <laughs> every marker on the map, really. Uh, we should be able to see a little bit further now, though. We are seeing a grim howler. I think it's the first time we've seen one this time round, so we'll have a look at it. Um, where are you hiding? Yeah, yeah, so a zombified wolf. Its mouth oozes with a black substance coating the vicious looking white fangs. So we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of these as time goes on in the game. So humans aren't the only thing that's affected by the blob. Which is what's which is kind of what's turning things undead. So anything that has enough mass for it to kind of sustain itself on the inside can become zombified. And that means we could be dealing with zombie boosters as well. They're called antlet horrors and they're horrifying <laughs> as you might imagine yeah so we, we we'll stay away from those for now let's check out our map see what's going on it seems like this is a relatively uh, f deserted area so this mansion isn't connected to any roads kind of like this mansion over here but it's surrounded by forest so it's actually pretty well protected from well a lot of things really um you're not going to be getting as much in that's a minefield don't drive into it now <laughs> let's uh let's back the truck up okay whoa okay handbrake turn ooh, 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 ooh. just stay away from it and that moose is is it coming for us now no or is he just hanging about hanging a boot yeah let's just putter along for a little bit longer um, so we're going to take a little bit of a wider route around um, the minefield, if we can. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm avoiding it. <laughs> yeah, we can actually see it, because uh, when our perception gets better, we're going to be able to see things like that um, a little bit easier. One of the good things about having high perception means that we might be able to see traps as well. Just going to drive nice and slow through here. Ooh, thunderstorm. Well, the, the clear weather didn't last for too long for Noah. we got a zombie dog. That's okay. Step up a little bit on our acceleration. Let's check the map again. Yeah, so this is the kind of... This is how you'd get through with a vehicle. By that road there. I don't know if this is a small town. It seems like it's a relatively small town. It could just be like a little... Yeah. Yeah, like a little place outside of... Um, about outside of the the very very massive Avon Heights, yeah. All right, we will explore that as well in time. But for now, our goal is the mansion, which is probably going to be filled with uh, zombies, just like they've all been so far. I think that this is probably the closest we're going to be able to get safely. Oh wow, that was a pretty dangerous handbrake turn. Right, we haven't wrecked it yet, so that's good. Let's stop driving. We've spotted a grabber zombie. Ah, uh, yep, I can see him inside. Whoa, that thunderstorm's loud. Okay. So, we're going to try and use the trees here. And we've got a, um, a jumping spider, a giant jumping spider behind us. So, we'll keep our eyes out on that. Just remembered I've got some more books I need to deal with. Okay, okay, let's see. Where are, you, where are you gonna go? Behind us? Okay. Okay, they're nice and slow here, which is gonna work to our advantage. That boom is gonna get us, but that's okay. Okay. You get a screwdriver set inside of me. I'm not gonna ask how or why. Okay, we're just gonna wait. We could use the saline eye drops if we had them, but we don't. We just listen to some amazing vocals. Alright, we're okay. We survived. Let's see what they got for us. Wood saw. 
I don't actually know if I have a wood saw. We're gonna we're gonna grab it because we're nice and close to the uh, vehicle. Now, we'll butcher these guys. I'm gonna keep my eye on that giant jumping spider. He's ignoring us for now though, so let's just hope it stays that way. A lot of butchering work to do here. But it only takes about 10 minutes for each zombie, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's jump inside. I think I've left the dome lights on, so we'll try and read. Moose spotted, stop reading. Yes. Where is he? I want to see if he's hostile or not. He is hostile. And he's a decent way away. Let's see if we can just get inside the mansion now. Actually, shoot, we know we need to drop stuff off. We'll see if he's approaching. If it says the moose, the moose is approaching, that's when we'll stop reading. Because uh, it shouldn't take us long to read these books. Yeah, see, we're doing okay. Whoops. What's going on? I think I accidentally started reading it for real. Whoops, tried to read the cooked meat again. Okay, great. Let's drop those in there, along with the wood saw. And everything else that we picked up as well. We should hold on to something. We're going to hold on to those clam... tin of clam chowder. It's going to be our meal for while we're inside there. A military black box. Okay. Alright, diesel's good. So, I think it's a wing mirror that's... Yeah, the wing mirror got completely damaged. Okay, so... Ooh, there are weapons here. I can see them already. I'm excited. Oh, oh, oh. And there's a scabbard. Ha <laughs> ha yes. All right, we're, gonna, we're just going to grab the scabbard right away. And we're going to wear the scabbard. Um, it didn't seem to add much to us. Let's have a quick look, see what it does. It does encumber, uh, does encumber us, but not by a huge amount. We probably don't have to wear the other sheath for now, so we'll just take that off. And that might just knock down. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but we can get the scabbard to fit us. But now if we come into here, find that scabbard. We're going to rename that as S. So now we can go activate S T and we sheath our broadsword and we didn't even do it clumsily. Perfect. But we've got some weapons here. Oh, we do. Okay. Some of these may be fake though. Um, first thing that we've got here is a helmet. Um, a medieval Japanese helmet with a scowling face mask that provides excellent protection to the entire face and head. We can see that it gives us 20 encumberment to the eyes, the head and the mouth. So it does, it does encumber us a decent amount and we don't fit it. So if we can find one that fits us, we would be very, we'd be very, very good. Very, very happy. We've got some ornamental armor here. So it does give pretty good protection, but I think it is because it's ornamental. It's not practical. It still is very, very good protection. So it's, it covers the torso, the arms, the hands, the legs. So it's 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 the whole deal. But the incumbent isn't actually too high. Twenty five isn't so bad. The o yori yo rui. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing a very good job pronouncing that. We can see it is an ornamental suit of Japanese samurai armor. Nice. We'll take it with us. Um, but we're just going to check everything else around here first. The katana. Ooh. This may replace the broadsword. I'm sorry, guys. It may just replace it. We were using a katana last time we were playing through as Noah, and I think we might end up doing it again. We've got a wakazashi, which is also a really good blade. It's it's a lot smaller, um, but we can see. Well, let's see. Let's see. Moves per attack. Yeah. So it's not that much higher for the katana, but it does a lot. It's got a it's got a lot more damage behind it. The um, it can also block as well, so it's got rapid strikes and it can block attacks. So it it's really difficult to choose between that and the broadsword. Um, let's activate our sheath because we want to we want to actually have a look at the two of them. So let's have a look at the katana and the broadsword. Okay, so broadsword's a little bit lighter. Um, it can attack a little bit faster. We can see that it's thirty five. It has a higher bash attack. Hmm, but see, this is the thing. This is where 
the katana can sometimes outdo the broadsword because of this rapid strike. We can get in more than one hit with rapid strike, so it's kind of like the um, the Tanto that we were using. I would love to keep using the broadsword, but I think that the katana might just do us better. Yeah, I think I think that's the case. Hmm. Well, let's okay, we'll we'll leave those two there for now, but this is definitely a real katana because the cut value is is awesome. Uh, so for now, I think we are going to give that the all-important T. So we're going to activate our sheath and sheath our katana. We're going to stop wielding, for now, our broadsword. Uh, no, I was trying to throw it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave those there for the time being. So we've got another kabuto. 18, and same kind of deal here, so it's ornamental suit. There's an Odachi. Oh my god. Oh man. This huge curved two-handed sword from Japan is surprisingly light for its size. So we can see here that the moves per attack is 180, but it still has rapid strike, brutal strikes, and wide strikes. So you can strike more than one thing at a time with this, but to wield it requires quite a bit of strength. I would love Noah to be able to use a Nodachi. It would just be the most badass thing ever. I mean, the cut value is just crazy high on it. Ah, if we can, that'd be that would just be so awesome. Let's see if we can wield it at least. So let's see, wield the Nodachi. We pick up the Nodachi. We don't have it in our hands though. Oh man. So I don't think the Nodachi has been uh, modeled yet, uh, which is really, really unfortunate, but um, geez, if we can swing that, oh, <laughs> I'd just be so happy. Uh, okay, let's activate our sheath. We'll see if we can sheath our, um, see if we can sheath the Nodachi. Or is it too big? No, we can sheath it. Ooh. We're going to keep the katana. We're going to keep it um, in our vehicle. But I think for now the Nodachi might be the weapon that we use. We're going to test it out against the dead here. And this is the same as the other one. Um, if we can find ones that fit, I'll be I'll be stoked. And we'll, we'll take them right away. But we're going to come over and we're going to check out some of these other items. Like a kid in a candy store. Okay, so it's, it's, it's more of the same there. And more of the same there. So we will take we'll take one of each. We'll take the Kabuto and the and this other one as well. We might just have to wear it for now. Okay, we were we're wearing oh we can't wear it because we're wearing a helmet already. So let's just I'll see if I can take off um scabbard with Nodachi. Oh man. <laughs> oh I can't wait to try it out. Uh no room for it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, all right. We're just gonna have to we're gonna have to make two two little runs here. Uh, I'm gonna be wary of where that moose is. I think we're okay though. I can't just access that, can I? No. And it's raining again. Okay, we're gonna drop. Ooh, no, hang on, hang on. There we go. We're gonna drop that the katana and the armor into there. Okay. Um, should we collect the Wakazashi? Why not? Why not? We're here. Let's get it. I'm tempted to wear the Kabuto. Although, just, I, I won't wear it until it's fitting. Because, um, the, the encumberment to the, to the eyes and the rest, it lowers your perception. When you have anything in your mouth, it makes it so that it's harder for you to breathe, so... Everything takes up more stamina. It can just be a bit of a, a bit of a pain. So we'll just get rid of all of that for now. Yeah. But um, I'm very happy with this. Uh, very, very, very happy with this mansion so far. That was um such an awesome find. Now I hope that the Nodachi is wieldable for us, and that we don't destroy ourselves trying to slash it round. Yeah, it's um could be an awesome weapon for us we could be one-shotting zombies but multiple zombies at the same time because the swing is so wide that you can hit more than one at a time and because it's got a brutal strike it means that you can knock them back and rapid means we'll be attacking fast it's just 
It's a good weapon. It's a real good weapon. Okay, alright. Noah's excited. Let's drop that of the flashlight. We don't need that. Um, right. Was just trying to do something else. That's right. We need to check where, what layer our scabbard is on. It's on the outside. Perfect. I might just put it. Uh, might put it down there, actually, because it's worn around our waist. Maybe we should be taking off the tool belt now. I think. So if we drop our tool belt, we'll see if that helps. Where is our tool belt? Here it is. Actually, we'll just take it off for now. We don't want to drop it. Okay, we're taking that off. And we can see our torso encumbrance has, has dropped by a little bit. So that's good. Alright, I think we're just doing a little bit of saving. No, what I'm doing is just doing some thinking. Alright, uh, same strategy as normal. We'll try and clear the top first. And then we'll, we'll see how we do there. A funnel. I reckon we can, reckon we can do with another funnel. Last jar, don't need it, move on. Pineapple, yes please. Loot fisks? Hmm. A preserved fish. Yes. Yes please. Apple cider, uh, it's alcohol, we'll leave it behind for now. Take the sandwiches, banana. I'll take all of that actually. That reminds me we can probably eat some of that. Let's see, what are we going to eat? Let's let's go for the sandwiches first, because they probably will go off. Yeah, there we go. What have we got in here? Candlestick, silver earring. It looks like we've got a gun. Nice. Lots of wine. Fruit wine, gin. I mean, there's a lot of booze. Gallon jug of cheap wine. Oh shit, that moose. Mm, just stay out there, moose. Oh, okay. All right. Colt Army, Colt Navy. So they're both handguns. Uh, what, they use cap and ball ammunition. I doubt that we're going to use them. Um, I'm almost tempted just to leave them behind because they'll be taking up space. But, you know, Noah can be a gun nut, I suppose. So she will take them with. We have got a Walther P PNK. Takes 32 caliber rounds. One of the most famous handguns of the 20th century. Oh, a bond gun. Okay, all right. Single barrel shotgun. The shotgun. There we go. That's better. Oh, that moose is coming for us. Kind of. I'm going to close that door, which is against my usual policy because I lose track of where I've been. But I think I know. <laughs> I did that for a reason. Okay, let's drop those things in here. Along with food. We're probably getting a little bit full. Now that I think about it. On uh, things we can carry with us. In the... Uh, in the blah, blah, blah. In our tractor. Let's see. I wonder if I can tell the volume. Yeah, that's my volume. If we hit slash here, we can see how much there's got. Yeah, so we've still got another 300 or so. Oh, okay. Hang on, where the hell did you come from? Chanel Boykin. This is my territory, jerk. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at her. Okay, she's wielding a Tech-9, which is a submachine gun. We don't want to piss her off. Wearing a pair of boots, jeans, t-shirt, leather jacket, dust mask, and a cowboy hat. Looking like a badass, pretty much. Let's size her up. 8 to 10, okay. We're gonna hit okay. Bye. Oh, she's right there. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Mm, I, I have no idea where she came from. She really snuck up on us. Chanel Boykin. I'm going to try and talk to her again. This is my territory. So what, are you going to shoot me if I don't leave? I don't want to test out the Nodachi now. We've still got our pistol, but that's a Tech-9, so she probably has ammunition for that as well. Shit. Um, I'm kind of at a little bit of a loss as to what we what we do there. We could try leaving. Is, is she coming for me? What she? We'll just we'll wait, see what she does. It looks like she's leaving. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let her go and get back inside. 
Okay, I don't know if this is her mansion beforehand, but... Well, we're making use of it now, so... She... Is just gonna have to deal with that. But, um, we will be ready to, uh, take action if we need to. Oh, so many... We've got a lot of preserved... Well... Perishable food, rather. That ain't gonna last too long. Moose. Ooh, spiders. And what looks like a spiral stone. A rock the size of your fist. It is covered with intricate spirals. It is impossible to tell whether they are carved or naturally formed or some kind of fossil. Quite a unique item. We'll take it with us. Alright, more guns. This is why mansions can be very, very good, because they like their guns. So we have a steel plastic rifle here, an SVS, which is awesome. It's a Sarafonov assault rifle. It replaced the famous AK family of guns that served as the rifle of the, Russia's, the Russian army. So it's a pretty damn good assault rifle. We've got a COP-38. It is a four-shot Derringer-type pistol for the 38 round. Take it. Combination gun. Interesting. It's a rifle. It's... I'm trying to go off price as well. Combination gun seems to be pretty good. A break-action firearm comprised of a 306 barrel over a 12-gauge smooth bore. Wow. Historically used by egomaniac hunters in Africa, now used by their egomaniac descendants in New England. Okay, so it's a combination, so it's a shotgun and a rifle at the same time. Interesting. We've got a Weatherby Mark V and the Fireness Bolt Action Rifles. Right, and another COP38, so we'll take it for parts. Uh, you know what, no, actually, we'll leave it. We, we only really need one of each. Uh, but we are pretty close to being maxed out on our carrying capacity, so we'll just run back really quick. Drop those things off again and keep our eyes out for, um, Chanel. Was it Chanel? No, don't yell. Chanel, yeah, Chanel. And she's been making some noise and got a little bit of a horde following her. Okay. Chanel, we will leave you alone. And hopefully you will leave us alone. And hopefully Rory alone. Don't go troubling Rory. Okay, we'll keep the meat sandwiches with us. And we'll drop that in there as well. Paper apple we don't need. Get rid of that. And be on our way back inside. Oh, that rain is loud. Okay. So it seems that this has got a... This is a pretty good mansion. It's not bad. It's got some pretty good things so far. Oh, that's a lot of uh, potentially dead zombies. Yeah, so they could revive. I'm going to watch out for that. They've been killed by spiders. Ooh, okay. So they, they broke out and they started fighting the spiders. Oh, oh, okay. It's no Dachi time. <laughs> Let's activate our scabbard. We draw our no Dachi. Let's let him get nice and close. Oh, okay. No, not bad. And it was a quick strike as well. Nice. Okay, we do some pretty good damage with that. And we will get better as our strength gets higher. So the Nodachi is a good weapon for us. Hmm. You see a zombie through there? Oh, there you are. Ooh, 52. Alright. I'm liking it. Doing some good damage and it's an awesome weapon at the same time. Oh, okay, hello. I wonder. Let's see if we can get two next to each other and I can demonstrate its uh, kind of wide swinging ability. I usually would never let two get close at the same time, but I almost want to test it out. Come on. Come on through. Damn it, the other one is going to come through. And we ripped our bag. Bastard. These quick strikes with the no Darchi are awesome. Holy crap. I'm liking this. 
I'm liking it a lot. Let's butcher them. I think there's still one down there. Yeah, there was one here as well. Come on. Don't you smash that window. Come on. Awesome. She is a zombie killing machine now. If you can survive the first few days in Cataclysm, things can get a lot better for you very quickly when you find things like that. They're not going to have a chance to attack. And it's the kind of weapon where, you know, when we were taking on the rats, this would have been perfect because this would slash through so many of them in one go and just absolutely decimate them. So I would have, I would have loved to have had this back then. Last time I took on a Rat King, I had a Zweihander um, with one of my previous kind of offline characters. And uh, it was an awesome tool to have. I tell ya. Ooh, it's gone night. Okay. Alright, we'll keep on exploring because Noah does still have energy. So we'll just flash on the flashlight every now and then. Cough syrup, saline solution, we'll take both. Yeah, you know what, we're just gonna have to keep the flashlight on. Otherwise it's very easy to uh, forget where you've been. And we've got a library. Nice. Okay, so we don't need to have the flashlight on in here. Go through, see what we haven't got yet. And I think this will be our, the last part of this run for today's episode. Okay, interesting. Some computers. Okay. <laughs> Just for fun. Uh, there's a few doors off this one that we will need to check out. So much easier. Ah, uh, we have got rules for the road. I know we do. I was so sure we do, but we haven't read it yet. I'll grab it just in case. But I was reasonably sure that we did have it. Hand Lotus Helper. Great. That'll help us create more um, ammunition. Was the word I was looking for. Armor smithing, and we're full up. So we're going to have to do a run back to the car, but that's probably going to be next time. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. You've been awesome. Noah has been absolutely great with that Nodachi. And until next time, stay tuned.